Bruno would approve, I'm sure. At the tender age of 19, with perfect pitch and chromesthesia. What I mean? It's essentially a, it's a, the ability to be able to see music in color, that's chromesthesia, and perfect pitch is the ability to... You know, perfect pitch, you know, pitch perfect, but you see music in color? Yes, ma'am. What does that mean? Um, well, essentially, when a song is being played, it's like an aura of a certain color. Yeah. I see it in my vision, it's like, it's, oh. I, it's, it's so hard to explain, but it's like, I can literally see the color in my vision, like surrounding you everything. You know, when somebody really just fun. born for the right? <laughs> well, this gentleman already has passed ABRSM piano exams with most of the distinctions up to the new ARSM associate of the Royal School of Music Diploma um, exam. Joseph Davis is the first person in Jamaica to ever achieve a distinction in that exam, by the way. Currently attending Berkeley, Joseph is an award-willing multi-instrumentalist. He plays 12 of them. Never and I didn't even know 12 existed. And he's here to talk to us some more about his accomplishments and what's on tap for him. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. Thank you for having me. Wow, 19. <laughs> All of this at 19. You went to Campion. Yes, ma'am. You left Campion and you went to... The Idlewild I Arts Academy. Tell me about Idlewild. So Idlewild is a performing arts high school in California and it is... It's an institution that is centered around the different performing arts. So you have dance, you have theater, and I was in music. And I, Idlewild was the first um, step towards furthering my career and building my passion. And I'm really, really grateful for all of the opportunities that I've gotten and all of the experience that I got from being at Idlewild. Um, it really, really helped me grow as a musician and as a person in general. So where did music love come from, sir? Well, I've been playing music since I was five. And so... What instrument you started with? I started with piano. Mm -hmm. And I have always loved, I've always loved music. My mother and father always used to have me listening to all sorts of songs. Like, I'm, I'm definitely an old soul when it comes to music. And I was listening to all sorts of songs from back in the day. And I, that's where I first fell in love with music. Mm -hmm. And when I was around the age of five or six, my godmother essentially bought me a keyboard. And it was only around 37 keys in length, but it was enough for me to realize I had a true passion for piano and music in general. And so... From there, the passion just grew, and I decided to take on more instruments and further my passion. And so you're playing by craft. ear, or are you playing by, you taught yourself to, to read sheet music, or you got formal training? So I started, before I started getting formal training, right. I was learning by ear. So I used to like play the theme songs from TV programs um, from back then. And then I started learning sheet music through the formal training that I got from the school that I was at. Mm -hmm. So you end up at 12 instruments. Just, you know, no, honestly, <laughs> you, one thing to learn piano, I guess you can jump off. Once you understand sheet music, you understand the rudiments of music. It really does help you to kind of graduate to other instruments. Oh, definitely, definitely, 100%. Yeah. And there are like three main, I would say there are like three main groups. You have like piano, drums, and stringed instruments in general. And once you have those three, that just opens the borders to a multitude of different instruments in a multitude of different areas. So, so no wind instruments yet? I, well, I play, I guess you could call it a wind instrument. So it's a melodica, which is essentially a keyboard you, for your mouth. <laughs> and I'm learning alto saxophone at the moment. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> we don't know where we go next with the interview. So, so piano, drums. So piano, drums, electric bass, upright bass, electric guitar, steel pan, marimba, melodica. Um, I'm learning alto sax. I play the mandolin as well and the recorder and some mixed percussion on the side. I've done a more instrument than it. <laughs> no, sir. Okay, great. So now you're at Berkeley. You tell me your goal is just to end up immersed in a, in a job, in an industry where you are able to make people feel through music. And I Indeed. feel that because obviously it makes you feel like the best version oh, of 100%. yourself. Um, at 19... Um, you've already performed the Star Spangled Banner for the VP of the yes, United right. States. Um, what would you say has been your high, the highlight of your career so far? Is that it? Or? I would say there are three main things that stand out to me. The first thing would be the Kamala Harris mm -hmm. um, anthem. The second thing would be 
getting into the Berklee College of Music in Boston, that was a moment that I can never forget. And that is a big school. That is the school if you want to get in as an as an as a as a musician. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And the third thing I think would be solidifying the fact that I have this upcoming concert on Saturday. Um, when the, all of the preparations for this concert, it has been stressful, mm -hmm. but <laughs> it definitely has taught me to grow and I've learned so much about audio engineering. I've learned so much about um, organizing time and organizing, like um, making sure that I have um, the venues for certain things. It's just so many- um, Moving parts. Moving, yes, exactly, I so many it. moving parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the concert, tell me about the concert. So this is a fundraising concert to assist with college expenses. It is going to be happening this Saturday, August 20th. And it's a concert um, brought to us by Barnet Limited and Royal Computers, where I'm essentially going to be on stage, surrounded by a bunch of instruments, and I'm going to be jumping Kind of like from... what we're seeing behind you? Indeed, yeah, for yeah, the jazz yeah. and blues. Okay. And so I'm going to be jumping from instrument to instrument to instrument, and all of the instruments are going to be looping in real time. And I'm going to have some friends helping me out, some special guests, for example, like Ayotash, Elaine, Tessellated. And I'm going to have them on stage with me. They're going to be performing, and I'll build all of the beats while they sing. Mercy and five. It's going to be really, really fun. No, it's going to be amazing. I mean, three concerts you've already arranged, so this won't be anything different. Um, one million views across Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. You were voted the, the most outstanding artist for your senior class in 2021 at, at Idlewild. I think you're going to be like a really big star. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah. that. And, and you sing too. You didn't tell us more about that. Uh, well, yes, I do You talk sing. more about your, your passion for instrumentation than you do for your voice. What well, yes, I'm, I'm def I would definitely say that I really, really love singing. And I'm trying to, as I grow vocally, I'm trying to get more comfortable with my voice and singing on stage and so forth and so on. Because a lot of the singing that I've been doing has been studio work like at home just with my microphone and singing doing stuff for social media but now that i have this concert where i'm going to be singing at the concert i've had to kind of break out of my comfort zone a little bit and be able to use my voice as an instrument so i don't mm -hmm. consider voice as its own thing i consider it as an instrument sure. well it has so range like any other instrument highs exactly. lows and mids right Definitely. where are you a high low mid you're an alto you're a falsetto where are you i would say i'm a baritone but oh. i can like falsetto to a few high notes mm -hmm. if i squeak a couple well, when i hear that <laughs> voice and i hear that breathing that diaphragmatic breathing i know you've got something in there that's really <laughs> special um how do we support you on your at your concert it's Saturday, you said? It's Saturday. Um, tickets are $2,500 um, pre-sold, $3,000 at the gate, sold at Fontana Pharmacy on Waterloo Road, and are also sold online at the event website at joedavisarts.com forward slash joedavisandfriends. Okay. Um, there's also going to be a live stream for the show happening on September 18th if you can't make the show at 22 Jerk for any reason. All right. You know, you've got a bit of a British accent. Did you live in England? I did live in England you for... You did? <laughs> I knew it, mate. That's what I was. For how long? Um, I was in England for about 10 years, and then yeah, I moved man, out to Jamaica. For sure, and... I was like, this accent of an in tough Brit into it. <laughs> yeah, we hear you. Okay, Joseph. Joseph Davis, musician and student at the Berkeley College of Music. You want to sing us to break with one of your all-time favorites from your parents' catalogue? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near just like me they long to be so very close to you hey hey, hey. real deal what is the importance of medical screening we're going to talk to dr kathy and williams uh, after this 10 minutes to your health thank you so much wish thank you all you the best Appreciate lovely 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 soon come